In 2 Peter chapter 1, Peter calls us to recognize our purpose and our calling and all the amazing things that God has given to us through Christ. So as you get into this chapter, I hope you'll read it today. Listen to some of the things that Peter, well, that he reminds us of that we have through Christ. He says, his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us by glory and virtue. And he goes on and says, by which we have been given exceedingly great and precious promises that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. He says, I want to remind you of all that God has done for us so that you'll continue to live out your purpose, to live out your calling in Jesus Christ. And then he goes on to say something that I think is probably central to this chapter. That central message is this, stand fast and do not be drawn away into some kind of false doctrine or some kind of deceptive teaching. Listen to these verses. We'll, we'll kind of close out our devotion this with this. Peter says this, speaking of himself and all the other apostles who knew Jesus and walked with Jesus, he says, we did not follow cunningly devised fables. This, this is not something we made up. This is not something that, you know, was a fairy tale once upon a time. He says, but we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He says, for he received from God the Father, speaking of Jesus, the honor and the glory. When such a voice came to him from heaven, from the excellent glory, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And Peter goes on to say, we heard the voice. He was talking, I believe, about the transfiguration. So here's what Peter's saying. Stand fast, stand firm, recognize your calling, stay involved in this purpose, because this is not a fairy tale. This is not a made up story. Peter's reaching the end of his life here in this chapter, in this book, and he says, hey, we saw it, we witnessed it, we heard it, this is real. Stay in it and live for the glory and the honor of Jesus Christ.